Last week on the blog, we were talking there in Proverbs about the necessity of building guardrails in our lives. And we finished up with this. <clears throat> this is that we need guardrails in every area of our life. You know, listen, I know that you think that you don't need guardrails, but listen, that is foolish for you and I to think we don't need guardrails. Let, let, let me have your mind just for a little bit. The problem is some see guardrails of life as something that, that is negative, okay? They see so, the guardrails as their limit, that something that limits them. Remember Eve in the garden, she, in Adam and Eve. Listen, think what God said. All God said was, look, you can eat of every tree. I'm, t I'm telling you every tree, but there's only one guardrail I'm going to put up, and that guardrail is, is you can't eat the, of this tree right here, of good and evil. And, and you know what Eve thought? Because it was deception of Satan, but you know what Eve thought? You know what? That, that's limiting me. That's limiting me. That The devil lied to her and said, if you eat this, then you're going to be like, like God and shit. You're going to be as a God, you know? And, uh, and and so what we begin to do, we begin to parents put limitations on their children, their teenagers, and and uh, even, you know, look, look, you know any guard was, I mean, uh, the police put uh, limitations on our speed limit, okay? Why? Because look, if everybody did what they wanted to do, it'd be a disaster, so on the highway. You need limits. You kind of quit looking at guardrails as if they're limits keeping you from something. Uh, it, some people, as the fool in Proverbs chapter 7, he thought that this, this is restricting me. This is holding me back. And then we see also that as we look at it as a guardrail of, or, or something like that is a boundary that's holding them back from something they want. And you know, David, you know what David did? David lifted the guardrail. David lifted the guardrail that day. He didn't go where he should have been. He should have been out there fighting the battle with the men. The Bible says on a day when kings should go to war, he didn't go. He lifted the guardrail. He went out, he looked. The guardrail was off, and what happened was he fell, okay? So we need guardrails in our lives, all right? So here's the word. The word is standards. We, we don't like standards. We don't like that word, and, and there's, I know that there are all kinds of people that, that, that everything's standards, standards, but listen to me carefully. The word is standards. Standards are really guardrails for our lives, okay? They're really guardrails for our life to keep us in a wholesome atmosphere, in a wholesome, safe environment. Uh, that's what standards can become in your life, okay? And I want you to develop a personal standard of behavior that becomes a guide to your conscience that serves as a guardrail for your life to help you from violating your convictions. Let's look at that again. Here's what I want. I want you to develop a personal standard, okay? I want you to look at your life and say, this is the standard. This is what I'm going to live by, okay? And it's a personal standard of behavior. There's, I have personal standards of behavior. And I know, listen, I know men who didn't have, <clears throat> they had those personal standards. They lifted those personal standards of behavior and they ruined their lives, okay? <clears throat> and, and, and these personal standards of behavior becomes a guide for, to my conscience. In other words, there are some things, folks, listen, I'm not going to go across the line in this, okay? I'm not going to do that. And these, this guide to my conscience that serves really as a guardrail for my life to help me from violating some convictions. I have some basic, 10 basic fundamental convictions in my life that I have purpose in my heart. I don't want to violate these. But to do that, I have to have a good standard of behavior in which I conduct myself in. When I violate my standard of behavior, my conscience is, is, is pricked, or even when I begin to think about it, my con if I have that standard, when I begin to think about it, my conscience is pricked, and therefore that serves as a guard and says, look, you can't go any further. You need to stop. Don't go there. Don't think about that. Don't look at this. And can I tell you something? It saved me a lot of heartache. A lot of, a lot of, uh, I got 46 years of marriage in, thank God for that. And I believe my, my standards, my guardrails have helped me stay within the boundaries of having a good marriage.